Alrighty, so we have a Max Force construction update for you guys today. Um, a lot of things have happened since our last Max Force construction update. So as you can see, footings for the coaster are being poured, which is absolutely exciting. And lane clearing is moving along nicely, along with survey markings. And uh, they have the drill, and they even have a crane on site, which is also really exciting as well. And you'll see why they might have a crane on site so early, considering um, track hadn't shown up until it seems yesterday or the day before. Whenever it arrived, it arrived. But as you can see here, here's that drill bit I was talking about that digs the footings um, where they'll then pour the concrete and then they cure and then they'll start setting up support beams and track pieces. Um, I'll go over what's arrived in the parking lot so far at the end of the video. But right now, as you can see, lots of land clearing is going on behind Wizard, I think is what it's called. Um, the coaster that had some of its track removed so they can work in and around it, um, which is really exciting. So again, lots has changed. Over the last couple of weeks, we haven't seen much action at Six Flags Great America uh, for Max Force, and now we're starting to see lots of action. So um, we'll be able to get some coverage for you guys over the next coming weeks, and uh, don't be surprised if you see some drone footage of Max Force being built. We potentially could be getting our hands on some drone footage for you guys of construction of Max Force and follow along there. So hopefully you guys really enjoyed that. Um, so that'll be super awesome for amusement insiders and you guys. Um, but yeah, not much else going on. Again, they have the the footings they're working on. They have the rebar cages. They have the caps there. So once they're done pouring the footings. Um, so I, it looks like construction is probably going to move along really quickly considering I just did a construction update pretty recently and we hadn't seen a lot of this action and out of nowhere it just looks like BAM! <laughs> lots of action so I'm sure we're going to see lots going on at Six Flags Great America over the next couple of months which is super exciting and I look forward to the construction tour over winter. Um, so I'll have a team there grabbing some shots and interviews for you guys on a construction tour. Um, but yeah, let's get into what's arrived in the parking lot. So a lot of you already know from Instagram um, or the Reddit community for the Coaster community, track has arrived for Max Force and it's absolutely awesome. So thanks to Evan for grabbing these awesome shots um, and these nerd shots for you guys and uh, rubbing it in my face and your face that he got to touch the track and I didn't. <laughs> I'm jealous. Anyways, it looks amazing. Um, I don't think there is support beams on site yet. Uh, the support beams that people thought they were are actually, it looks like air canisters that, uh, and they look like support beams because they'll obviously be bolted to the ground next to the launch. Um, but yeah, some awesome shots of the tracks and nerd shots for you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this construction update. I'm super excited that finally tracks arrived. Can't wait for vertical to start. Um, I'm assuming vertical will probably start sometime mid or late December, uh, depending on the, the footing curing time. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So these are the canisters I was talking about. But yeah, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this Max Force construction update. Again, there'll be more to come and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll find out soon if we can get some drone footage of Six Flags Great America's construction for you guys. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks for watching guys and have an amazing weekend. Bye.